Hey guys, so cook me, cook, ew, let's redo that. Cook with me videos have been highly requested and I know people like to make fun of me for my soups. So I figured this was a perfect time because I haven't made a soup and I can't tell you how long. So I figured this was perfect opportunity to do a cook with me video. I have no idea what I am doing. I just randomly thought about all this. So I'm about to show you all the ingredients you need to make this. I am just winging it. So first thing you're going to need is ground chicken. You can use hamburger meat if you want, ground turkey, doesn't matter. But I am using ground chicken. You're gonna need some corn, not all of this. This is just all the corn that I had. So I'm not gonna be using all this, that is way too much. You're going to need an onion, unless you don't like onion, because I know quite a people, quite a few people who don't like onion, which, why? Onion is delicious. We're going to be using some spinach. So I have baby spinach. You could also use kale, because from my experience, kale in soup is amazing. We're going to be using black beans. I have the no salt added black beans. But I mean, you can use the kind, the regular kind, doesn't matter. What I like about soup videos or recipe videos in general is you can do what you want with it. Like you don't have to do the exact ingredients. Next thing you're going to need is salsa. So I have the Pace Chunky Mild Salsa. I like any salsa by Pace, like the picante, the hot kind, just any. I love this salsa. So you're gonna need that. If you don't like salsa, just do like diced tomato. You're going to need taco seasoning. So this is the 30% less sodium kind. You can always make your own taco seasoning because I recently learned that making your own taco seasoning is actually quite simple. So you can always do that or you can just buy the packet because I'm lazy, I'm not a cook. I say this in every video, I don't like cooking. Next thing you're going to need is chicken cubes or you could use chicken broth. I usually use chicken broth. I don't know what possessed me to get cubes this time, but we're gonna try it and we're gonna hope it's good. <laughs> so as for seasonings, I'm keeping it simple. We are doing Mrs. Dash Table Blend, which in this, it's pretty much just onion spices, black pepper, chili pepper, parsley, celery seed, basil, bay, oregano, thyme, cayenne pepper, cumin, mustard. Okay, that's interesting. Rosemary, garlic, orange peel, carrot, lemon juice powder, tomato, red bell pepper, and that's it. So that's what's in this, but we're going to also be doing some black pepper, some garlic powder, and some minced onion. So that is everything when it comes to ingredients wise, but when it comes to what you need to cook with, you're going to need a strainer, and this is going to be to strain your black beans. I always strain my beans. That is that is like a thing i some people don't strain their beans and I'm, I'm looking at them like what next thing you're going to need is this little measure thing but that's only if you are using chicken cubes so if you're using actual chicken broth you don't need this obviously you're going to need something to stir your wonderful soup together and to cook your ground chicken or turkey or hamburger or whatever so you're going to need this you're going to need a knife because you're chopping that onion and you're obviously going to need a cutting board to chop the onion. Last but not least, you're going to need one pot. We are doing this all in one pot. This would be a very easy cleanup, so let's go. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest to show you each and every step I take in this little food situation. So just a little warning, I will be doing a lot of sitting because I am having some mobility issues due to my weight. I'll also be doing a lot of standing. So it's gonna be a mixture of both, but I just don't want anyone to be like, oh, Amberlynn's sitting down and she didn't tell us the shade, the tea. No, like over 500 pounds is gonna be happening. But I would like to say that I stand more than I used to about a month ago, so yay. Okay, so first things first, add the ground meat. That sounds so gross. I don't use oils, I use water. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to get everything smelling good. We're gonna add some pepper. I like a lot of pepper because I like spice. 
We're going to add some of the table blend. We're going to add some of the minced garlic. Obviously my favorite part, some garlic powder. Woohoo! I love garlic. So we're going to cut our onion now just to get it over with. So depending on how you like your onion, cut it to the size that you want, but you won't be adding this in until we have the broth in there and stuff. But some people like bigger chunks, some people like smaller chunks. I happen to like bigger, but I think we're gonna do like a, midi a medium. A medium style, kind of like that. Just depends on how much you like onion. I happen to love it. Becky hates onion, so. She won't be eating on this. So onion is already cut and ready to rumble. Make sure you're also paying attention to your chicken. Now we want to get the black beans ready. See how gross that is? No. You want to rinse. So you're going to empty that in a strainer. Turn on your cold water. And do this. Get all that goop off of it. Once that's done, you're just gonna set it to the side. So what you're gonna wanna do next, when you notice that your chicken is pretty much done, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna add the taco seasoning. Ooh, yes. But like I said, you can make your own taco seasoning, but I'm lazy. So we're just gonna keep it simple and then stir. I did add a little bit of more water because you don't wanna add the taco seasoning to super dry this because you don't want to burn anything. I'm going to add two cups of water. Two chicken cubes. My onion. Give that a stir, wait for it to boil. Ooh, that looks good already. Now that it is beginning to boil, I'm gonna add, this is barely a cup of corn, so we're gonna add that. We are also going to add the beans. And this is up for your liking. If you want more broth, add more water. Add another cube. If you want it to be more thick and meaty, keep it as it is. This is when the salsa is going to come in. You're gonna add however much to your liking. I added about half. Stir that. Now you're going to take your spinach. Spinach gets small, so you don't have to cut it, nothing. You can rip it, like I'm doing, but see how much spinach that is? That's gonna welt down a lot. So now that I've stirred it, I'm just going to let it cook and kind of love into each other for about 10 minutes. So here is how it's looking. 
it is pretty much done, you guys. So I'm going to serve me some right now and do a little taste test. Doesn't that look delicious? I don't know, it does to me. I am exhausted. It's been a hot minute before I like really cooked something that was like, took a lot of attention. I feel like soups for me take a lot of like, you, it just needs a lot of your attention. So, here we go. I wanna do a little bit of everything. Spinach, meat, corn, broth, beans, onion, and the salsa's floating around in there. Look at that spinach hanging off. I love spinach like this in soups, it's so good. It's hot, just got off the stove. Just how I like it, I love my food hot. You know what this reminds me of? Even though it's taco seasoning and I tried to do kind of like a taco flair, it reminds me of like a chili kind of. And what I love about this, since it's a one pot situation, when it comes to calories, you just add everything up and then say you want that whole pot to be four meals, six meals, whatever it is, divide it by that, divide it by four meals, divide it by six meals, and then your calories will come out. Usually soups like this, not many calories, especially when you do divide it by four or divide it by six. Woo. Mm. So good. You can always add cheese to it. I'm not going to, I don't think it needs it. One of the best soups <laughs> I've ever made before. I really hope you guys give it a shot. It's really good. I really am a good cook. I know a lot of people like to make fun of me, but I really am, I promise. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna enjoy my soup and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.